Once again, we are back on T-Talk Ekbun Soch Ke Year, a train of thought with a series of an episode with uh, Aditi Gupta, passionate about uh, being an entrepreneur and entrepreneur and part of a glamorous world, a strong uh, woman leader. Uh, ma'am, it's a, ge- a great insight to what we're getting from your story and a great inspiration for uh, most of our T-Talk <laughs> audience. Uh, now, just tell me, uh, like in your academic career, like, you know, uh, once you started, uh, I think through our research we have seen uh, uh, Nritya Samaj, uh, you have done Diploma in Bharat Natyam like. Yes. Uh, so, uh, how you got an inspiration and support from your family that in 1987 to 2000 you have done that? Almost, yes. So, how did you think about your mind that there was a restriction in parents? So, like I said, I think my parents have always been supportive. Mm-hmm. Uh, dance and sports was something which I think they probably identified in me mm-hmm. and that is where uh, they started understanding where I need to get an exposure mm-hmm. and classical dancing I think it was completely on my mom that you know she took me to classes one day she found out which is the best uh, studio or classes where is it happening closer to mm-hmm. our house and it's a dedication because it's it's not just me who has perceived this, uh, you know, perceived this 13 years, but she has held my hand and both of them used to drop me to classes almost two to three days a week for wow. almost a decade, over a decade is a big thing. And correct, and correct. I think it's because of her determination also mm-hmm. uh, that has made me, you know, uh, a classical dancer, trained classical dancer mm-hmm. and I, I have always enjoyed uh, classical dancing so that is something which kept me going over there yeah. and I'm sure I think uh, what conversation we are having uh, you were never a pampered child so I'm you used to respect <laughs> what parents they say and uh, for three years being part of a Bharat Natyam like you know so three years in a week three days you were spending for this so what was your mindset uh, like uh, would you like to continue this for longer? Dance, like? uh, uh, yes, I wanted to continue it longer because I started liking the sound of the ghungru or the music, mm-hmm. the kind of preparation that one goes through mm-hmm. and uh, I think one of the biggest things uh, that sports and dance and that has taught me is focus. Mm-hmm. that you need to be focused and you need to be determined and you need to be dedicated towards that entire journey it can be a short journey it can be a long journey of course Correct. dance was a very very long journey mm-hmm. uh, but year on year studying uh, giving exams participating in various contests mm-hmm. uh, competitions then you know being a part of a cultural programs in school and all is mm-hmm. something people started recognizing me as a dancer as well mm-hmm. And that gave me more encouragement to do confidence also. Yes, and confidence to do more towards the uh, my uh, dancing, uh, you know, passion. Right. I'm sure. I think many of the uh, parents who are listening to Aditi uh, Gupta, like I'm sure, you should give freedom to a child like where she enjoys the most. And I think rightly there is a myth that uh, girls should not get into this profession, that profession, and which touches your heart. I think uh, you should give freedom. Uh, Aaj ki nari alag nari si hai like. Uh, okay ma'am, I think 1987 to 2000 uh, you were part of a Bharat Natyam and again uh, then uh, you were part of a uh, BCom with Sydney College like, right, yes. uh, from 2000 to 2003 and can you share something about your learning and uh, how like you were part of an extracurriculum activity which have uh, groomed uh, you as a uh, person? So when I entered into college, right, when uh, a person goes to the college, suddenly there is a different world altogether. Mm-hmm. Everybody is off the uniforms, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, that first few days are uh, full of enjoyment that, okay, you are going to wear the new clothes and everything. I went to a college where I could see a diverse background. I could see extra rich kids wearing like all branded clothes and I am one simple kind of a person who is. So that is something 
the culture shock which you say yeah. <laughs> that I actually got how even being just, in Mumbai yeah. uh-huh. even being in Mumbai a lot of people feel that okay being in Mumbai how can you you know and again like South Bombay crowd mm-hmm. they're more bold they have more exposure yeah, you know they yeah. have traveled across the country mm-hmm. uh, they are uh, kids most of them are kids of big business people and all mm-hmm. so they they know how to converse how to talk they are much yeah. more free and bold yeah, yeah. okay uh, but one thing which kept me going was not to get distracted because of that mm-hmm. i was there to study mm-hmm. and uh, that is something which uh, allowed people to recognize me also so i have yeah. a very a habit of you know making notes till date mm-hmm. Uh, so that is something which people would ask me notes and all and this is how i would connect with people or i would sit in the library i'm studying mm-hmm. or anybody needs help mm-hmm. that is something so being helpful uh, sharing things whatever you are studying that mm-hmm. is something plus simultaneously uh, you can be a part of the same world correct okay. mm-hmm. right because when you are in college apart from studies there's no relationship otherwise you are mm-hmm. not doing any business work or you're not trying to assess yourself with the financial conditions of anyone and everyone mm-hmm. over there you are study you are yes, studying okay. you need to understand okay how you know probably there are uh, you know you make good friends where mm-hmm. actually they allow you to develop yourself so much mm-hmm. that you know that you want to become like them mm-hmm. and that drives you to put more hard efforts also during that journey mm-hmm. so this is something which yes came to me also but uh, at the same time i made great friends i mm-hmm. got to know a lot of uh, things which probably uh, you know being a small family or i would not know mm-hmm. uh, it allowed me to break a little bit of uh, lack of confidence also mm-hmm. i would initially i felt ki okay they are you know good in english and they would converse very well mm-hmm. uh, they are wearing like nice clothes and all but when mm-hmm. we started connecting it was very mm-hmm. conversation based it was very Uh, very much based on the intellectual capability of it mm-hmm. plus what i did was i uh, became a part of photographic society the annual magazine committee which allowed okay. me to connect with the seniors also so those were the kind of an curriculum extra curricular activity yes. activities which uh, help you out yes. in nurturing yourself much more yes so it helped it really helped me by being mm-hmm. a part of lot of cultural activities mm-hmm. and uh, the associations that the college institute mm-hmm. actually has and that i think that is a very much purpose of the college is also to have and many times i saw that like how aditi uh, did birth natyam like you know so kabhi as i have i have been birth natyam those other guys have uh, not those kind of got those kind of skill set and waisa kuch aapke man mein aise khayal aaye the bhai aapne to birth natyam kiya hai and then you are going to you use this space and how you were balancing your studies and your passion towards uh, doing something uh, different so i always felt that i would continue studying i would continue my academics but i need that little break to myself mm-hmm. i need that some passion which allows me to connect with my real self mm-hmm. okay so i think dance and being into those extracurricular activities mm-hmm. allowed me to develop my other skills Mm. interpersonal skills creative skills mm. or networking skills that is something which allowed me to also open up a little bit more than just right. being in books all the time correct yeah and many times like uh, if you're part of an college you're out from a school you're getting into in college you're seeing the uh, people around from diversified background and all and sometime you tend to get into a different kind of a relationship so then how you balance yourself in uh, keeping a diti as it is and focus on what you are doing as well as studies which are concerned like i said my family has been very disciplined mm-hmm. okay so um so <laughs> i would uh, tell you one incident also one, not one incident but what my dad used to do is he exactly knew what is my time table mm-hmm. and he would exactly calculate okay this is the time other people get free this is the time she will head out and have one sandwich because she loves to have the sandwich or whatever she will have snack time and all right and this is the time she will take train reach home walk to home and everything mm-hmm. the moment at times it used to happen that i'm just entering the door and we had a phone by then and he would call have you reached <laughs> so so uh, okay uh, i think uh, after being part of your college you got into a national institute of event management yes, yes. so uh, why into event management what fascinated you more to get into an event management so while doing my classical dance training mm-hmm. i realized that events is something which i enjoy because mm-hmm. i used to participate lot of contests competitions and all mm-hmm. and i had no such thing of i want to win 
but mm-hmm. i wanted to participate that was my biggest achievement mm-hmm. and when i saw a lot of you know parents lot of people coming together clapping or applauding for the people who are actually accomplished or have the courage to be on stage how many people do we have correct, correct. that is something which i think um, encouraged me to take the post graduation in event management mm-hmm. Uh, simultaneously i was also studying and preparing for cat and ct at that point of time okay. so i said i don't want to just you know uh, focus on one part i would mm-hmm. utilize that which will like with me more towards one of the areas which i have always been enjoying correct, so correct. that is how i started the post graduation event management uh, i think it's an excellent tip for uh, the target audience who are listening to aditi gupta about her story about her passion how she had navigated and how she had taken balance of studies and her interest in bharatnatyam and being part of an extra curriculum activities and now after uh, graduation she took uh, she was part of a national institute of event management uh, where she enjoyed the most like it's a real interesting journey and the uh, exciting story exclusively on tiktok what we are having of an aditi gupta do catch up with aditi gupta on next episode of tiktok ek mun soch ki till then go to www.tiktok uh, tiktok.net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can ma'am thanks a lot for Thank being part know. of this show i'm sure the insights the your stories is going to inspire many of the women or the uh, girls who would like to make career as yours like thank you so thanks much thanks a lot god bless you thanks, thanks. You.